Hi everyone, this is Matt from Prime Studios, and today we're going to be talking about CSRF, or Cross-Site Request Forgery, um, otherwise known as Session Writing, CSRF, XRSF, and uh, many other things. We're also going to be talking about how to build a token system in CodeIgniter to mitigate any potential attacks uh, from people using CSRF. Uh, to start, the core of CSRF uh, lies in web browsers making requests that they're technically authorized to do. However, the user doesn't actually know the request is being made. Um, this is otherwise known as a confused deputy attack. Maybe you look that up for some more information. Um, consider things like image tags or iframes. These make external calls to uh, URLs all the time. If instead of a call to an actual image, the image tag calls a URL with malicious Git variables, uh, some damage can occur to the application. So today we want to look at CSRF post exploits uh, because we pretty much know by now that using any Git variables in the URL is usually a bad idea. So let's look at a simple application and how to use CSRF to exploit it. Um, here we have a page and we see that uh, it has a simple search box, and when I search, we see that the term comes up here, but uh, it doesn't register the actual search. So, and that's going to be by that number. Uh, if we log in, however, we get added privileges, and every time I search for something, um, you can see it gets registered, and we're, we're just incrementing a database there. Uh, again, if I log out, my privileges are taken away, and while it comes up there, it doesn't actually register the search. So how we're going to exploit this uh, is basically look at this form right here up top in the top left and we're going to see if we can make requests off-site to it. And uh, the first thing we need to do is maybe look at the source. We see that uh, post basically to itself because the action is blank and we're using name equals search. So what I've done is I've created a uh, separate form here. Let's see if I can get to it, that one. And uh, actually I'll show you the code right here. We can see that I've made a faulty input box which doesn't do anything, it doesn't get submitted at all. And the submit button is tied to a hidden post value. Uh, name equals search. Uh, value equals exploit. So that's what we're going to be searching for essentially. And uh, it posts right to that web page that we have. So when I go in here, like I said, this text box is faulty. Um, we're logged in, and I'm going to type something in. Actually, let's let's type something real. Uh, test exploit again. That uh, uh, that that, does, that doesn't even matter. So we submit. We see that we submitted exploit, and we incremented this uh, this search. Now, our login and logout system is based on cookies. So we're actually using the cookies stored within the browser to allow us to make that search. If you see, we can go back and we can uh, we can try this again. I'm going to log out. Um, we can see that, again, that doesn't matter. If I submit, we can see that this didn't increment. So we can see that our search actually didn't, uh, didn't take place. And if we want to go into our table, we can see everything that we've done. You can see that the exploit entry is right there. And that came from um, a different site. And that's why we call it cross-site request forgery, because we're making requests from a different site. So we need to talk about how to mitigate this. Uh, one solution to this problem is form tokens. Uh, it's a unique string put into a hidden post variable and into a cookie every time the page is loaded. Uh, this makes it nearly impossible to post to make a post request from an external source because that token has to be validated on the server side based on both the posted value and uh, the set cookie value. So let's take a look at how to do this in CodeIgniter. Uh, but remember, the same principle basically works in any PHP application. It's just CodeIgniter makes it really simple to uh, manage sessions and whatnot.